How'd he get there, brothers and sisters? You know, I did a little speaking this morning on uh, uh, an issue. Uh, and I just want to expound on that a little bit. And I'm going to speak on things here that goes on around me and such. Uh, I'm out here in the backyard. And I see my neighbor over working underneath his truck. And he's getting out from under the truck, getting a tool, and coming back, getting under it, out and back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. The right thing to do would be to go over and offer to say, Hey, uh, Dennis, uh, you need me to hand you a tool? I ain't doing nothing. I can stand out here and you tell me what you need, and I hand it to you keep you from getting in and out of the underneath the truck. See, that would be the right thing to do. Uh, but seeing that going on and, and not offering that help, that would be unrighteousness. Now, you know that? See how easy unrighteousness can just slip in? Uh, i give you another thing. Now, today it's, uh, it's in the mid-40s out here. And it's brisk because the wind's blowing. And uh, But my dogs, uh, they enjoy the yard. It's sunny. They enjoy the yard running and ripping and rubbing and playing and rolling in the grass and laying out in the sun, stuff like that. Now, is it comfortable for me to be out here? No, I'm kind of chill. My old knees is hurting. My ankles is hurting because the old arthritis, you know, sitting in. That's just old age. Ain't nothing to go. That can't be nothing done about that. That's just part of life in the, in the years. Um, and I would be a whole lot more comfortable in the house sitting in my chair uh, where it's nice and a little warmer and and things. But, but what what do I do? The right thing would be for me to put on some sweatpants, put on my old blue house robe here, you know, kind of keep me a little warm, still cool out here, and, uh, and, and, t and take my dogs out, you know. Uh, that's the right thing to do. Uh, do I always do that? You know, I, I kind of fall short in that area sometimes. <laughs> uh, but today, thank God I didn't. And and, 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 and I took my dogs out. And they're having a blast out here. Just uh, laying out on the concrete pad, sun, and they're ripping and roaming. My big old black lab, he's covered in, in old dead grass because he's been out there rolling. And, and they're having a good time. See, that's the right thing to do. Is, is oh, I'm out here a little in, in some discomfort. Uh, the right thing would be for me to take my, my boys and my girls out here and let them play out in the yard. But I could, I could, you know, say, well, man, it's it's 45 degrees out there and the wind blowing and, man, and, 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 and just choose to sit in the house. See how easy your unrighteousness can slip in or, or doing the right thing? Um... Uh, you know, it's when we when we don't want to do things that 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 gives us a little discomfort. Uh, them's the greatest works, you know, to me. Uh, and when I see the scripture, because I'm not I'm not abiding in my flesh, and I'm following my heart that that's the right thing to do. And and we know God lays that on your heart. And, and so, you know, another example. Uh, you're leaving the grocery store. It's 110 degrees. Ooh, it's hot. Uh, you got your ice creams and your milk and your butter and, you know, and you want to get home and put these things in the refrigerator. Uh, but uh, my, you're sitting there loading up yours out of the, out of the basket cart. You notice something. You notice this, this, this individual coming out of the store, uh, a man or a woman don't matter. And they got three or four little rug rats, and they got a big bug of food, you know, because they buy for the family, and and that's a lot of unloading and putting it in the cars and stuff. And they're trying to do that and handle that big old heavy buggy and and and, and, and wrangle the kids and, and load up the groceries. Do you offer to go over and help? Or you're too worried about your buttermilk, uh, your ice cream milk, your meat's not uh, getting home put in the freezer. See, see the right thing. Uh, and once again, 
a lot of folks, you know, they say, well, you know, they just blow it off and 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 and, and enter unrighteousness. Same scenario. You're sitting there and you're unloading your little groceries and. And you see this elderly person, man, I want me to know about it sometimes, you know. And they're having an issue with the buggy. I mean, you ever have one of them buggies had the wheel go like he's right? And uh, they're having issues with the buggy, and they're going out in the car. And you can tell it's a toll just for them to walk across that parking lot with that buggy. Do you offer to help, or are you in too big a hurry because uh, the few items you picked up, uh, it was just a quick trip because you was on the way to pick the kids up from choir practice or soccer practice or school or such or, you know, so do you just blow it off? Whew, unrighteousness has entered in, and all unrighteousness is sin. Now, this is for the saints. See, our lifestyle is supposed to be different than those out there uh, out of the house of God. Our, our lifestyle and our heart is supposed to be uh filled with kindness and goodness and generosity and and uh, hospitality and in such uh, uh, ways and uh, and I, I, in this old world it's easy as I've showed in just in these few situations it's easy to just slip into unrighteousness unrighteousness and we know all unrighteousness is sin someone knows what's right or the good thing to do and don't do it to that man is a sin. See, unrighteousness, unrighteousness. Now, this is the issue. Now, is that the sin under death? No, there's only one sin under death, and that's the sin of unbelief. But what this does, brothers and sisters, is, is your heart starts getting callous. Yeah, that's what it's called in the scriptures. You, 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 you don't do the right thing this time, your heart gets callous a little bit. And you and you don't and it, it and it's and it, eventually it gets easy just not to do the right thing. Not do the right thing. And then we get in this situation. Nippy, get in the yard, baby. That dog is a roamer. But she just come right back in the yard. She's a good little dog. Uh, then we get people in this situation saying uh, what they think is the right thing to do. Wow. What do you mean, Brother Anthony? Well, <sighs> you know me and that title called street preachers. I don't believe it. I don't see it in the scriptures. What we see in scriptures, marketplace speaking. So, we got this street preacher out there with a megahorn condemning the entire world because of their sinful ways and such. He names off a bunch of things, yelling and screaming, disturbing the public, speaking to people that don't really want to hear him. Well, that's the right thing to do. No, brother, sister, that's not. That's called unrighteousness. And it's a sin. Now that's just one way of explaining how we can think something is right. And in it, we become unrighteous in the eyes of God. So, like I say, this was just me. I was sitting out here and with them dogs would play and I was playing on my game and I got to thinking about these things and, and thought I'd want to just add on to the speaking. It's, it's called expounding. On a little, uh, what was it, morsel of meat, a, a little morsel to chew on I spoke on this morning. Uh, this is just an expounding on some things. So, this is the thing. We have to be very, as saints, very, very careful. Because we can slip into unrighteousness in a heartbeat. And I'll tell you, how easy it is for that heart to get calloused. I speak on them street preachers again. You don't dare speak to them. Their heart is so calloused. They'll start calling you all kind of names. They'll start using God's word in a misuse. Nippy! Yard! They'll start using the word of God in defense of what they're doing. 
the horse couch. So, hey, love y'all, praying for you, and uh, I'll see y'all next time.